What's up, folks? It's your boy Edel for HawksBeat.com. Wanted to come on and give you a little post-game recap for Game Two. I'm not at the game, but I, tonight we we watched it from the living room. So this is where we're reporting live from tonight. Um, Hawks lose a doozy, 109 to 101, and um, I believe they let a, a golden opportunity slip by. I believe they could have easily stole this game from the Washington Wizards, but uh, the ball didn't bounce their way. 109-101, and John Wall was John Wall. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. That guy is really good. Like, he is really good at the game of basketball. <laughs> 32 points. His backmate, uh, Bradley Beal, pours in with 31. And, um, man, man. Uh, where do I begin? Where do I begin? Three keys, man. Three keys, I, I believe, that were uh, essential in this game was, number one, John Wall, MVP player. Thing is this, John Wall and Bradley Beal are going to give you what they're going to give you. They're going to ball out. But you have to limit that supporting cast, and that's one thing the Hawks did not do. If Wall and Beal are going to go for theirs, that's fine. That's what they're going to do. They're all-stars. That's what they do. You have to limit that bench, and you have to limit Gartok. And Gortat, these first two games, has used and abused Dwight Howard. And it hasn't even been funny if you're a Hawks fan. Like, he has out-rebounded him. He's uh, got all the 50-50 balls. He's just played much better offensively. And uh, as we saw tonight, Dwight Howard, I don't even think he played in the fourth quarter. You can't let all, the, all of these things happen and expect to win a ball game against a team the caliber of the Washington Wizards. I almost said to watch some bullets. <laughs> uh, number two, man, the X Factor. Now, going in, if you guys checked out the podcast, make sure you go out to Hawks Beat and uh, hit the podcast button. Check out our podcast because I previewed and I said, I said, watch out for the X Factor. My X Factor was Markeith Morris for the Washington Wizards, and he was exactly that in the first game. Second game, not so much. This game, I believe it was Brandon Jennings. The Hawks had... Uh, they had the Washington Wizards on the ropes. They had them on the ropes, man, in that third quarter. And they let, out of all people, Brandon Jennings get off. Let me tell you something. He was giving Jose Calderon the blues. You hear me? He was giving them the blues. And uh, you can't let that happen, man. You can't let that happen. And, uh, man, you just, you just can't let that happen. Uh, the X Factor for the Hawks. Let me ask you this. Hawks fans, who has been the X Factor for the Hawks? Crickets. Yeah, nobody. Nobody. And here's what I believed was going to happen. I believe that the X factor for the Hawks going in was going to be Kent Bazemore. Reason why is I believe that he is much better. I believe he's much more comfortable coming off the bench. And I thought that he coming off the bench would be a much better thing. I thought Torian Prince would be solid as a starter. I was wrong on both accounts. Both have been invisible. Both have not really played well at all. And uh, neither one of them have really had a moment where you've been like, wow, all right. Nah, nah, it's been really bad. And the Wizards, they've had someone step up. And game one is Markeith Morris. Game two was Brandon Jennings. Hawks, you have no no X factor. So you're not going to win a ball game that way. You're not going to win, especially a playoff game. Which leads me to my third uh, and final point. You're getting outplayed at every single position. Now, granted, we knew the backcourt was going to be what it was going to be. But... You're not getting anything from your wings. You're not getting anything from Dwight Howard. He has pretty much checked out offensively. Only points he gets offensively are just trash points. Uh, if you watch him on the pick and roll, he's no longer even rolling like with Dennis on the pick and roll. That's why Dennis is taking so many shots. Because when you're on a pick and roll, there's no roll. I mean, that's basic basketball fundamentals. And I don't know why, but... Um, I think I know why Bud sat him in that in that uh, that fourth quarter because he's not giving you anything offensively, and uh, you can't you can't have that man. You just can't have that. Um, and you're also seeing polar opposites between Bradley Beal and Tim Hardaway. I've been a big Tim Hardaway fan ever since he's got here, but he's simply not ready for this moment. He is not ready for this moment. Um, him he is very much like Bradley Beal at being that they're both streaky shooters. And they can go hot, they can go cold. The difference is Bradley Beal, if he gets if he starts off cold, he'll miss your first 10 to 12, 10 to 12 uh shots. He'll know how to make that right shot at the right moment. He still knows how to stay within the game and make that shot. 
Timmy will completely shoot himself out of the game, and he won't be a factor. That is the difference in maturity, and that's why I'm saying, hey, buyer beware with Tim Hardaway Jr. Before you back up that Brinks truck and give him a boatload of money, think, think, think before you give him that money. I'm not saying that you should give him the money. I'm not saying that you shouldn't give him the money, but I'm saying you need to think about it before you give a whole lot of boat, uh, a boatload of money to Timmy and a boatload of money to Paul. So, 109, 108. I mean, I can give you stats, but it really doesn't matter, man. Hawks didn't play with no heart tonight, man. They didn't play with no heart. You saw John Wall and the raw emotion and everything. Hawks don't have one player playing that hard right now. And I, can, and I can tell you that. They don't have one player playing as hard as John Wall right now. Nobody wants it as much as he wants it right now. And that's why he is the caliber of player he is. And that's why we are, you know, what we are. And uh, I did it. I, I said the we. I hate saying the we. Because it's not the we. I'm not out there playing. I'm just out here reporting. So, Hawks lose 101. 109 to 101. They're going to be here at Phillips Arena on Saturday, and I believe game four is on Monday. So we'll see what adjustment Bud makes, and uh, we'll see, man. But uh, you guys make sure to check out hawksbeat.com. Make sure to check out our podcast. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And uh, what else do we got? Instagram. Follow us on Instagram as well. We'll see you when we see you, man. Hawksbeat.com. Peace and love.